morning canal amigos and aficionados and I don't know why I'm in a, a jocular mood this morning uh, because it's bloody freezing just leaving a um, nice little mooring on the outskirts of Kids Grove just on the sort of start of the Macclesfield Canal the rope fender I had so much trouble with I tied it up and I think it slackened the rope has slacked a bit so my uh, bodge my temporary bodge has been undone so let's see if I can just a little bit of footage there down there we're obviously on a little aqueduct here. There's the outskirts of Kids Grove. That's the wastewater, i.e. sewage plant. Uh, car dealership and breakers yard somewhere there. Beautiful little cottage. That's quite a nice location, isn't it? House, not a cottage. Anyway, yeah. And uh, up that little slope on that little hill over there. More houses, and I think it's going to get fairly rural fairly soon. So, a final look back. Nice little place. Shops within a, an easy walk. Pretty easy walk, even for me. Um, so, that was good. And uh, a pub as well. Nice pub. Um, the Red Bull. Um, food seemed okay, I must say. You know, I, yeah. I'm mega fussy about chips and the chips were pretty damn decent so yeah I could recommend that place right but uh, what's also happening is it's freezing and I've just got my hands cold from the ropes so setting at the no, second second heat setting and a bit disappointing really I expected more from the gloves oh and interestingly just around this little bend slight bend a row of more boats obviously wanting to just get that little teeny bit further away from town because you won't get much foot traffic up here the dog walkers tend to come up a little hill walk along the towpath for a little way you know stretch the legs and all that um, anyway so uh, I'm pushing on today from the outskirts of Kids Grove there to uh, Congleton and the route is a short one it's only five miles I think five miles ish a bit more with a like a stop lock thing you know one of those shallow locks like a foot or so so I've heard so it, it holds no terror for me. I've got the windlass ready uh, and there's a water point on the way. I might just stop. Uh, I filled up when we arrived here, I think three days ago. Oh, the engine cover boards are still slippy as hell, by the way, with the ice. Got to be a little bit careful not to test their grip. Uh, end up hurting myself on the many steel protrusions that uh, abound on this deck. So I'm going slow. I think I'm going slow. I tell people off. Um, or, no, I tell people off. Like, <laughs> behind their backs I complain about them for going too fast. And um, so I don't want to do the same thing. It feels okay. I'm doing a thousand RPM. But it's a little bit faster than tick over. But not much. And I feel like I'm doing maybe two. Maybe I'll just slow down a tad. Maybe I am just a bit, just a little bit. Now what's lovely about this is you can see we're getting into more of a rural area up ahead, mostly anyway. Uh, and we're starting to see hills. And um, over there is the hill I could see from several miles away when I was coming down from Road Heath. And uh, I'll find out what that's called because I'm interested. I thought it was like Congleton or something. It can't be. I think Congleton is more sort of a straight ahead northerly direction. 
that's like north east I think and it doesn't look big enough either anyway you know uh, I'll find out the little town on the hill find out what the hell that is because it looks nice doesn't it you would think normally I would have heard about something like that church tower on the very top as well they knew where to build their churches didn't they um, and I've got to say uh, I saw some kids in hoodies and things knocking about when I did one of the locks just before coming onto the Macclesfield the last lock I think just before you turn a corner and come onto the Macclesfield and I was a little bit worried about how things were going to pan out you know were we going to have some issues with scallywags and things messing about on the towpath perhaps a bit of thievery you know Coddy Wample boat called Coddy Wample anyway go figure uh, yeah I thought we might have a little bit of uh, tomfoolery shall we say and um, we haven't and furthermore everyone that I've passed almost to a man while I was walking backwards and forwards to the shops and so on um, every one of them said uh, uh, you know hello let on now in urban areas normal and this isn't an urban area it's the edge of but it, normally in an urban close to an urban area people aren't so greeting happy you know and um, they'll they might get you might get a nod if you if you really sort of work at it you might get a nod out of one of them but it's not they're not big on greetings so especially not the blokes but everyone that I passed going along the towpath last day or two I'd, I'd a greeting you know so um it's it, it's nicer than I thought it was and I think those kids I saw those kids shouting and swearing at each other on bikes uh, I think they are I'm just looking at the <laughs> I'm look I'm, I'm sorry I'm paused I'm look I've uh, another long story. I bought a, ki a gimbal for the camera up front, right? And straight away, it's not going right. It's turned. Uh, it's such a lot. It's a boring story, but I that's what I'm all about in it, let's be honest. So, I've been unhappy, and you will have noticed the forward get the. I've got a camera on the front, phone camera, camera on the back you know because I like to sort of have the option of showing you and you know for myself seeing what things look like up ahead um, but also behind as well and also myself so because you know so um, anyway the camera at the front tilts right as the boat tilts and what happens then is uh, sometimes the image the video stays tilted and you will have I'm sure some, I mean I try and do what I can to fix it but it's a massive hassle it's a big hassle and um, it's just a pain and it sort of spoils what I want to do um, the way I want to sort of present it so what I did was I bought a camera gimbal right I, I bought a camera gimbal and I'm going to take some forward footage because what's happened is the gimbal's now decided to turn. Oh, oh, I know now. Oh, right, I understand. No, the gimbal's decided to turn sideways and the reason it's doing that is because I locked it. But just in case you're wondering why the forward camera has today decided to look sideways it's my fault I wasn't clever enough for the gimbal um, so anyway um, I can sort that out shortly so we've got a five mile cruise you know back back to sort of the actual business rather than the, all the boring technicalities we've got five mile cruise one lock one water point and crucially a marina something called Heritage Narrowboats about a mile further than the lock so I'm going to stop at the lock 
obviously, to do the lock, to go through, just after a water point, going to stop there and top up, because you never know, you never know. A water point further up could be out of action, I might want to stay put suddenly for two weeks if I've got something to go and do, you know, so anyway, um, so I'll fill up, even though it's only been three days, I might as well. Right, and uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm being careful, sorry, I'm being distracted because up ahead there's a slight bend and I, I want to make sure I don't hit anyone who's coming around it. Morning chaps, bracing weather today. <laughs> When you're in these hollows or these cuttings, I think this is a cutting, isn't it, with a slope on either side. When you go through these cuttings and you are out of the sun, it, it sort of goes back to its zero degrees, whatever it was overnight. It's down to about minus one. Um, it gets pretty nippy. So uh, it should all be done. But even with a stop at the marina, they can take a little while stops at marinas because everyone just sort of takes their time. No, that's not slagging them down, it just seems to, you know, they've got a dozen different things to do and, you know, you're not always top of the list and it sounds like I'm slagging them down, I'm really not. That generally, by and large, they're absolutely brilliant, brilliant people. Oh, that, that's the lot, blimey. Shit. Okay. The new thermo cup, new thermo cup. The actual drinking part of it is not as good as I hoped. It can be done. It can be done. But it feels a bit tricky. Well. I can drink from it, so. Ah. And uh, brew wise, let's be fair. Uh, Six and a half, pushing seven. Could have done with a, being a fraction stronger. Oh, is that a person at the lock? Is that a person pushing the gate? It is. There's someone coming through. Well, this is interesting. I don't know what's going on. So what I, all I'm going to do is just pull over, get the windlass. They're there first anyway, if there is someone at the lock. So I'll let them through. Let's see. Let's see what's going on and fix the camera. Right, the guy in the lock, the guy on the lock, has just waved me to come ahead. Is that? That's um, Dave. What an absolute star. Dave's walked ahead. I'm pretty sure that's Dave. Yeah, it is. There's Bar. What an absolute superstar. He's walked ahead with Bar to um, work the lock for me. What an absolute gent. Honestly. I think I'm pushing an eight. Good morning, sir. Good morning. I didn't, uh, Dave. I must apologise. I'd completely forgotten that you said you might walk up and uh, and do the lock. I'd completely forgotten. Well, I didn't. I didn't to, uh, yeah. I actually thought from a distance you were a boat set up from up yeah, there. Yeah. That's why I pulled over. I thought I'll come and take pity on the intrepid explorer. <laughs> He's going, you know, there will be dragons. <laughs> well, there'd be a water point actually. Yeah, there is a Do you know, it's a, 
Are you going to stop, Dave? Because it's only been three days, hasn't it? Yeah, I might just for a splash and dash, just for the sheer hell of it. Yeah. I mean, apparently it's getting cold over the next few days, so it might get icy. They in. freeze up, yeah. yeah. They do freeze up, don't they? Yeah. I yeah. Know it's what? getting cold enough to do that, but you never know. Is that guy on? Is he using it? Yeah, so I think he was, but whether he still is, I don't know. We'll find out. So he's coming, he'll be coming through himself. Right, he hope. Uh, Well, you are a gentleman, sir, and a saint. Thank you. And uh, I might just stop. I think it's one of those things as well. If you're in like Macclesfield or Congleton, they're likely to be quite busy, and the you know the water points might be in oh, use, yeah. in use a lot of the time. So I think I think maybe stop. Right. It's doing the wrong thing, actually. But uh, anyway. That, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, come on. Am I not doing it right still? Right, I think that might do it. Morning. They did this sort of to control the traffic, didn't they? I think historically. So this this can help people to lose water to the yeah. So commercial reasons, yeah. yeah. As ever. situation at the moment there's a boat up ahead on the water point is there going to be a while what a fantastic cottage it's one of those places you look at it and you think if I was going to sort of retire, you know, yeah, you, you, you couldn't go too much far wrong, yeah. What an absolutely beautiful place and that'll genuinely be a, a couple of hundred years old, won't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, either way, I'll see you soon and thanks again, mate. Cheers. Right. <clears throat> so I'm going to pull the boat over. You probably heard from all that palaver. I'm going to pull the boat over, get a little bit of water. I feel like it's not worth it. It's literally been three days, but if things freeze up, when it gets really cold, the water points also freeze up. And uh, yeah. It becomes difficult, so part of me thinks fill up now while I can. Yeah, I will do, sorry. With these icy conditions also, you've got to be a little bit careful stepping on and off. Have you uh, been through Congleton at all? Yes, well, about a week, about a week ago. Right. Did, did it strike you as busy or quiet or...? Uh, it was, it was quiet. The spaces sort of thing, yeah. yeah. We had, had 
problems with spaces so far. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two hours at most, I think they'll be heading off. So there definitely will be spaces. So yeah, if, if you don't see one straight away, just hang around. Do not despair. <laughs> yeah, a boat that never despairs. Yeah, there's a little nearby, isn't there? Yeah, the Yeah, I'm hoping, you see, the reason I was asking, I'm hoping to find a mooring sort of uh, in Congleton, you know, there's, there's town moorings. I, yeah. I've not been my first time. Is it right? okay, yeah. uh, so I'm sort of hoping to find a mooring in the town there. Yeah, no, uh, I've had any problems so far, but yeah. Yeah. it's a cold day, so people yeah. might not be going, but... <laughs> <laughs> there's a little bit of a walk in town, but... Yeah, yeah. It's but, right, yeah. It, but it's I'll sort of close to... <laughs> yeah. Well, I've, I've got this e-bike thing, so oh, uh, right, okay. I fear no hills, madam. I fear yeah, no hills. Well, there you go, then. Like a superman when I'm on that bike, unbelievable. Yeah, unlike us when we've got like heavy bags of shopping. Oh no, <laughs> none of those earthly torments for me. Uh, but, uh, but like you said, we try not to do heavy. What, what we try and do is if we're near a, a road bridge. Yes, like do it there, yeah. Like Have you, can, can I ask you guys before you go, yeah. is that, does that work okay for you? Yeah, we, we've done it a few times. All they need is a postcode. Right. So the house and, right and you just put on the instructions call me when you arrive so you you have to give them a house number a postcode yeah and do, do you get can i ask you as well sorry for mimi quick do you get like short dated stuff though no well they're okay about that because you know when you go yourself being on a boat you'll tend to pick from the back yeah, you, can, you can do but it, it's not a common and generally they give it to us for free. <laughs> right, really? Yeah. Hello, morning. Morning. I need to get online, guys, I really do. I need to get into the 21st century here. <laughs> but I, uh, what I do with having the bike, I'll just go, right, I'll jump on the bike, you know, a couple of panniers or something, and I'll get whatever. So I think it's a bit of exercise and so on, which I obviously need. But um, and there are occasions where it's all muddy and horrible, and you just think, I just don't fancy. So that delivery option could be brilliant. So I shall give it a go. But uh, anyway, I don't want to slow you down, guys, but... Um, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, as I say, when you're on the approach, it'll probably look busy. Um but uh, I reckon you'll find a spot. If there isn't one straight away, there'll be one in a couple of hours because those guys, I was talking to them a few times and they're definitely planning to move today. Right. right, guys. We are off. Well, in a moment. Morning. Morning. The ropes are very awkward today. Sorry? The ropes are very awkward today. Yeah, bloody frozen solid. <laughs> Madness. Yeah. Oh, hang on. I'm going to pull in and wait, I think. I wait for this guy. Yeah, that's what I'm. Well, I could sneak past him there, couldn't I? I've got some room. Yeah. Well, let's yeah. see what he wants. Yeah. Oh, there's two of them. Is he towing someone or what? Right. Okay, well, uh, right, it looks like he's pulling in. I'll go for it. Yeah. 
Are you going far today, mate? No. Going through the tunnel on Friday will be well. It's going to be nice and bright today, which is nice. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely glove weather, but uh, I kind of I prefer it to the rain. So there is that. Yeah, you too, mate. So this is interesting. Up ahead, there's a butty being towed by a boat. So I'm just going to hover and wait. Uh, morning. <laughs> Morning. Think I'm clear. Busy. Uh, yeah, suddenly, yeah, crazy, but um, it'll pass, you know. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, this is just a passing phase. Anyway, have a nice day, guys. Right, ordinary gloves, uh, short leg up to the marina now, and then uh, gecko. So fascinating boat here, by the way. Morning. I love you both. A beauty, isn't it? The what? Sorry. <laughs> yeah. He said, "You don't go sneaking up on folk," which is which is true. It's very noticeable. And uh, he had a bit of a palaver, as you might have seen on the forward camera trying to pull the thing over uh, but you know um, just takes a couple of minutes you hang on and um, and you then you go through you know it's not a big uh, no biggie as they say um, so what I've got is uh, a short hop I think like a mile to heritage boat which is a marina it, it looks like it's probably a dealership, you know. Who knows, who cares, etc. What I do care about is that they sell coal, and they do. To my great delight, they sell lots of coal. And I need, I think, I think uh, I'm going to check it out before, but anyway, something like six bags, which will leave me with 12, I think. But. No, it won't. It'll be more, won't it? Four, five, six, seven. Have I got 12 already? I've got three there. I don't know. I need to check it out. I think I've got 12. Four, four and four. So I'm expanding my coal empire. Um, 12 should be enough. There's a fuel place past Macclesfield. But your problem is, the, the one thing boaters are always a little bit you know what what they plan for is the eventuality of um, the water freezing the canal freezing over and it being difficult to move and sometimes almost impossible to move and um so they plan against that by well, well i do you know because i'm a wimp obviously but um the hardier types not so much um but you plan you get you get uh, excess coal so I've got four, four and four. I feel like I need at least four for the roof. Five, I'll get five, that's what I'll do. I'll get five. 
They're only 20 kg bags that I use. They're not the, the normal ones that most uh, strapping boaters will uh, buy will be the 25 kilogram ones. And um, I can lift them, you know, um, but quite often I find myself trying to manipulate the weight of them at, the, at arm's length, like to drop them into the cratch or for different reasons, get them through the doorway depending on the situation and I just don't feel it's wise to have 25 kgs dangling at arm's length and trying to then bend or drop it if it, it feels safer to use the 20 kgs and probably all the sort of um, the hard case the hardcore boats will be like you wimp you know I've been hauling them since I was three and I haven't had a problem did that just drift like I might have drift. I'm having a little bit of an issue with the drinking aperture on the latest thermo cup. I had to abandon the other one. Um, had to abandon it. Uh, it only it, it lost. At least I've done it, but it lost some internal structures. Well, I lost them. Let's you know. I'd have it fair. I lost them and it no longer kept the drink warm for more than about 15 20 minutes, which isn't really enough on a long cruise. You know, you, you want your brew to last a little bit longer because you're at the tiller for sometimes for hours and it gets bloody cold standing here, standing still. Uh, which, by the way, reminds me I have my heated insoles on today as well. Last winter, you may have uh, seen some of the videos where I suffered terrible privations. Uh, it was like the retreat from Moscow on, on this deck here. Um, minus nine and all sorts of things it got down to overnight. So I spent a lot of the time rather colder than I felt I ought to be. And um, to address that situation, I got um, sort of faux fur wellingtons which are great groundwork wellingtons they don't feel like the best made product in the world but you know they work and they're warm but i also for those super cold days and long days i got thermal uh, insoles that you put into the bottom of your shoe the little miniature batteries in them so i've got those as well i've also got my heater battery heated gloves um, so I'm good against the cold today I am proof against the cold today now I don't know it could get worse could get a lot worse to be honest but I can cope with today Good morning guys, morning. Right, a few more revs I think. Morning. Oh, right. right, I don't know if the camera will have picked up the noise of rumblings beneath the boat and uh, as I went typically near a bridge where rubbish gets thrown it felt like I was going over rocks I was certainly going over some form of rubbish um, yeah that's what that was I was rolling over Hope, hopefully none of it messed with the rudder you know hopefully it just rolled along the bottom of the hull and what that does obviously it will scrape off some of the protective coating but you know, hopefully just small bits. Uh, but anyway, you know, yeah, that's what that was. Um, <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> just check the phone. No rude texts from uh, young Dave or any of the other crew. Ah, but uh, I don't know how long we've been going, but that's still drinkable warm enough to drink 
some horses up there, but I, I can't be bothered turning the phone round. I'm, I'm having a drink, guys. Cut me some slack. I'm getting the hang of this drinking aperture now. <clears throat> So I'm uh, I'm got oh, right the rope fender that time caught on the tiller so I think yeah I can feel it I can I can feel it it's I just need to lift it up and retie it just a temporary fix do you know what to my shame I I was at that mooring for I think almost three days. And at no stage did I fit. I just needed to fix the chain, adjust the chain that holds up the rear. It's like a, a load of rope all woven into a button. And I just didn't. It was really muddy and horrible though. The banks were muddy and horrible. So uh, that's my excuse, you know. Um, do you know, I, I, I'm getting worried about my action cam. Genuinely, I think it's struggling. I don't know what's going on, but it seems to have gotten faulty, and that will that will be such a shame. Like there's a ruined castle up on that hill up there. I've got to find, or well, some ruined church maybe, but it looks a bit too big. But it looks like an amazing building. Right, while I'm talking about the action cam, I'm approaching a narrow section. And also, I didn't slow down. Oh, that's so rude of me there. I went right past that moored boat. And I didn't slow down. I wasn't going crazy fast, but I should have slowed down. Too busy worrying about bloody cameras. And I, I am worried about that. Because that is, that's going to be a major loss, that. This was like, it was like £300 or something. It was, for it to only last 18 months. It's massively disappointing. And it's really handy to have this thing as well. You know, because it's sort of... The, anyway, enough camera lamentations. Let's hope it isn't dead. It has been behaving a bit weirdly lately. So it is possible. But I don't, I don't want to think about that yet. Uh, Yeah, it shouldn't be. Do it's doing something it shouldn't be, which is a solid, solid light. Like it should never do that. <sighs> Disappointing. I shall take solace in some coffee. Now I'm going slow because uh, there's a boat approaching. Well, I'm approaching a boat. But we can't, it can't be far to this marina. Heritage Boats is half a mile. Half a mile. So a little way, yes. There's one or two boats moored in this area. Bridge 3089, is it? I don't know. One or two boats moored and a small settlement on the on the right hand side here. <clears throat> but to be honest, I don't. I like. <coughs> excuse me. I w I'm wondering why the boats would would set up shop here. Really, why they'd moor? No, with that. I mean, they, they would because it's nice. It's a nice little village. But there's no shops. They're not. You know. It, well, I can't. I don't think so. I don't think there's any facilities worth speaking of that a boater would uh, would could use. So that's a bit of a puzzle. I think I think a few more routes might be in order actually. All right, uh, how are we doing for the battery? Uh, 
we are get we are 50 percent battery and we are getting 50 amps in so that's good there's a nice little settlement here on the right hand side of the canal beautiful sort of looks like it might be a genuine old victorian cottage just i say that just as it goes behind the trees i mean why anyway and over on this side the hill rises up morning right? yeah not too bad thanks the hill rises up uh, I think it'll be too far away that I'm, I'm still I'm sort of skirting around that whatever that settlement or town small town is up on the hill and sadly I don't think the camera is good enough to pick it up but we're a bit closer so I'm wondering if the ruined dwelling castle churchy whatever it is will now be visible but there's now trees in the way So that's put paid to that little scheme. But a, a, a nice neck of the woods though. This settlement on this side is still carrying on. I'm still seeing houses. But it is generally pretty rural area. No doubt about that. The sort of, there's two towns on this canal of any size. No, I think only two towns and a number of small settlements. And the two towns are Congleton and then further north, Macclesfield. And, uh, yeah, and they're both nice, you know, I mean, I've been to Macclesfield many years ago um, and I remember thinking it was a nice place. Right, we've got a boat coming. So let's go into being careful mode. Now he needs to come through this gap, so I'm giving him room. Is there another boat coming behind him, or is that one moored? I'm slowing down either way. No, the other boat's moored. There we go. So I've given him room to get out of there. Now I'm going to press on. Let me ask him, um, is Congleton busy at the moment, the moorings? Uh, no. Not too bad, brilliant. Cheers. So, I'm going in. I thought I was going in an angle, I'm not going in an angle, it's easier than I thought. Well, he was a nice chap. Almost hit the bank there. On the left. But didn't quite. So I'm just getting cocky. Almost hit it. While I was saying I didn't. Honestly. Every time I get cocky. Right, we got a brief glimpse through the trees of the settlement. Oh, now there's more trees. I'm having no luck with that. I might try and zoom in on it. There are more boats, you see, so I'm going to have to slow down a little bit now. Imagine I'm only doing a thousand. A thousand RPMs. Some across some 
bits of weed. What's this? The Rising Sun Food Served Daily. So there's a pub nearby. And over on the hill, is there a chance of finally showing you this bloody ruined castle churchy thing? No. When the trees run out on the far side, they appear again here. As I go into this tunnel up ahead, there might just be a chance. Final. Last chance. Come on. Come on. There it is. Maybe you'll see it up on the hill there. But that's enough shenanigans because I've got a bridge hole to get through. So let's put that back. Yeah, I am. Um, I'm struggling to work out why I bumped into so many things on the Clangothlin last winter. I just can't because I, I, I didn't have, I wasn't that bad before then. I hit the odd one, you know, but not nothing like what I was doing. Anyway, it must have been down. Anyway, I, I, I've come up with various theories. Right. The wharf is just ahead, right. The wharf is just ahead and on the right for the marina. So, second stop of the morning will be to get coal. Let's see, is there any chance of reviving the action camp? It feels hot as well, like malfunction hot. Don't die on me. You can't die on me. It looks like there's a boat standing. A guy standing next to a boat up ahead. So there may already be someone getting coal. Now, if that's the case, as I say, I've got 12 bags, I think. So I'll last until Little Bollington. And now I can see a boat coming the other way. What a place for a boat to appear. Just where the channel gets narrow. But it looks like the wharf, looks like the wharf at the marina is busy. They'll have a cafe here as well. Some shenanigans going on with my fingernail. This is not the time. Pump out. Diesel and gas. Chandlery. Yeah, it looks like the wharf is busy. So I'm going to press on. On the left hand side we've got a boat. I like that name, Shoestring. And on the right hand side, Sherborne Wharf, Heritage Narrowboats. On the right hand side, we've got a wharf, but yeah, it's occupied. So my 12 bags of coal will have to last. And also I remember this boat as well, there's a boat called Willow, the one that's pulled over on the wharf. Now what's he doing here? There's a guy up ahead. Okay, well I'm giving up on the... I'm giving up on the coal. I think he wants me to go wide. So that's what I'll do. Morning. Yeah, not too bad. Are you um, staying long? Right, right. No, to be honest, I was going to get some coal, but I've got loads anyway, so I'll be all right. So here we are, Heritage Narrowboat, Sherborne Wharf. And a uh, lovely little place, to be fair.
Morning. Morning. It's a busy place as well. There's um, there's lots of boats and lots of people on their boats as well. So I'm gonna just take it easy here. Morning, Squire. Yeah, not too bad, thanks. So a numerous crew. Morning. There we go. I feel like we've met before, gentlemen. <laughs> My memory's not so good these days, that's uh, tragically. <laughs> 